Hello Capricorn, hope you all are doing well. This is a general reading for you. Messages of light and love come forward here for Capricorn Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Please hit the like button for me to tap into the energy of the reading. I really appreciate all of your support. Let's see what's going on with you here, Capricorn. First card out, Eight of Wands. Lots of messages. Communication. We have the Sun card. Wow, something here is going to make you very, very happy. Something exciting coming in here. We have the Page of Pentacles. bottom of the deck we have the two of swords the emperor eight of swords the lovers card okay somebody here i'm picking up here that someone's um loved one or could be in a relationship with somebody or a love connection with someone here who likes to boss you around or likes to be the leader in the relationship here with the emperor card this is aries energy eight of swords you may have gone through multiple cycles with this person of them thinking they know better than you as well um, you're kind of at a crossroads with them and how to deal with this situation or this the way that they talk to you is coming forward um, but you do have some happy energy here with this person. This person makes you really happy. Um, but let's get some clarity before I say anything else. I just feel like somebody's bossing somebody around. <laughs> so it's like you want a partnership with whoever this is, but they need to like look at you that way and not be talking down to you. Why is this eight of wands here? I just feel like you've gotten some good news. Someone here might be a little bit jealous about your good news that you have here. We have a Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, somebody's ego feels threatened. That's exactly what's going on here. Someone's ego is threatened by your success, perhaps. Queen of P Pentacles is someone, male or female, doesn't matter. Someone here who is has got has their financial situation figured out or is in a much more stable energy of having learned a lot of lessons in life i feel like whoever this is that that's talking down to you has less experience than you do okay so they may be older than you in age perhaps uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have all of the answers in life and um I feel like with this five of pentacles showing up here as well as the six of pentacles this is a situation where you're so you want a partnership with this individual but they feel it feels like they're putting you out for some reason i just feel like there's someone who's a little bit jealous of your success jealous of your knowledge perhaps as well um and you're triggering their ego so you're not letting this person bother you but at the same time, you want to talk to them about it. Um, and that's what this communication is about. The Wheel of Fortune is here. You might be dealing with a karmic connection. Someone that um, hasn't really joined you on your path here. They're going against your path, perhaps. You get on the same page with this person, and then they go off on a tangent going a different way. You just want to be on the same page with them. And that's what a karmic usually does, is they they prevent you from moving forward on your path. You feel like they're on the same page with you, but then something switches here. The sun is here. Why is the sun here? I feel like this is some kind of success that you've had. Maybe a promotion, maybe knight of pentacles. This, this person is definitely um, is telling me that this person is slow to commit to you as well. If you're waiting for a commitment from this individual, they are slow to want to give that to you. Queen of Cups is here. A lot of love you have for this person. They make you very, very happy. Uh, but something about them moving too slow, whatever that is, 
for you. It could be different for each person. They're slow at making decisions. They may promise something and they're slow to deliver it. Tell me more about the sun card. We have three of swords. It's hard. It's really hard to communicate to this individual because they already have a preconceived notion about who you are as an, as a person. I think that they're not giving you the benefit of the doubt here. They're looking at you as some kind of competition, not some kind of a partner. Uh, you may even have ki kids together. There may be disagreement about how you parent the children. Something here about them. Um, <laughs> they agree to do something here with you, agree to, on some kind of a project. They agree to saving money towards maybe buying a house, for example. Something here gets you very, very excited. And then something about the way that they're not showing up in the connection or they're not wanting to work with you and create those details, an action plan. It's like they're not want, wanting to create an action plan to actually get there. It's a lot of talk and no action is what I see here. Uh, you have expectations about how you want them to show up in the relationship and they're just moving too slow. It's like, it's like they tell you these things to get you on board and then or that they make you feel like you're both on board, but then when it comes down to actually executing, there's a problem with the execution. I think you, you guys are really trying to communicate to them how, how happy they make you feel and how happy you are with them and the relationship. But at the same time, there's days, it's like back and forth. A couple of days are great. And the next few days are leave you with question marks about where is this going? How is this going to come together? They're on board. They're not on board. There's a lot of stop start energy here. Tell me about this page of Pentacles. We have an ace of Pentacles here. We went from a page of pentacles to an ace of pentacles. I mean, from top to bo bottom to top here. Interesting. So, uh, tell me more. You may be waiting around for some money to come in and then you hit the jackpot. <laughs> That's what these cards are saying. You go from feast to famine. I feel like feast to famine with this person. The Empress card is here, so they're very attracted to you have a lot of strong attraction for you. You're going to have to kind of watch this person to see how they're behaving towards you in terms of what you're doing in, in regards to work. So like if you have some kind of success at work, how are they behaving in regards to that? Are they excited and happy for you? Or are they wanting to support you? Or are they pulling away? They like it when there's success, but at the same time, did they bring that success in the door or did you? You want them to celebrate with you. Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork is what I'm seeing here. They want, you want teamwork. I feel like they say they want teamwork, but are they really willing to put that effort in? I just feel like there might be some disappointment around getting team members on board with what you're trying to execute. So there's like some kind of a communication barrier or just trying to motivate people in general. I think that you, your excitement about the things that you're working on, get people motivated and excited as well. But when it comes down to actually putting the work in or them wanting to follow instructions, you're, you're coming up on a barrier here. Interesting. So this person, I definitely am getting karmic energy because we have the Wheel of Fortune here and we have the Eight of Swords. So if this, this reading is resonating with you, you have someone here that you're going to need to make a decision about. Are they going to prevent you from moving forward and obtaining the success that you're looking for, whether that's in your relationship, whether this is a job, coworker situation, or however this is playing out? Uh, for you, you're going to have to make some kind of a decision here because you're at a crossroad crossroads with them two of swords 
At times, this relationship could be toxic as well. You may have had some experiences them with them that make you doubt whether or not they're fully committed into the connection, whether they are wanting this fully. There's some hesitation here with this individual. I feel like they want things their way. They want to be in control of the connection, of the relationship, how it pans out, how things unfold. And that's not really a, a partnership. This is somebody who wants to dictate the progress of the relationship. Tell me more about this emperor. I, th I feel like this person looks at you as like kind of a child. Which is really unfair because you bring a lot to the table here. Queen of Swords, I feel like this person really frustrates you. There are times where you just want to block them. You get agitated with them. You want to, to cut them off. You want to kind of, um, they feel you acting kind of a little bit uh, standoffish or I don't want to say the word. I want to get it kicked off of YouTube, but they feel like there's like Karen energy here. And so I, th I think that this person is just really frustrating you. It's hard to, like I said, it's hard to get on the same page with them. We have the world card. Some kind of lesson learned. This person is here to teach you some kind of a lesson in life. Seven of wands. They're really, it's really hard not to react and defend yourself. So I feel like you're having to take a step back and really think things through with them. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the message that's coming through here. They, they want to take things slow as well, King of Pentacles, and you wanted to move faster. But as you progress in this relationship or in this connection, they, they see that you're getting frustrated. They don't know how to handle maybe an emotional outburst um, or your reaction to some of the things that you both confront or face with each other. They're really kind of skeptical about how this is all going to pan out. I think that that's why they're not wanting to move this relationship along faster because they've seen some of the and I'm not saying that this is your fault. This is definitely, they, you two are just very different personalities in how you execute plans or how you make plans. So they feel very skeptical that they're going to want to progress this forward. There's delay here. There's always delay. Again, a stop, start energy. Interesting reading, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button for me. I'll see you in the next one.